Hello, welcome back. All right, it's been a full week. I know I'm supposed to do two a week. It just was a super busy few days for me. Anyway, I'm taking walks every day and I try to pick up rocks as I'm going. And I found these really cute rocks this morning. And I thought, I bet I could do some flip flops. So there you go. There's my one I already did as my sample. How cool is that? And so together we're gonna to do this one and make our second flip flop. And what do you need? Okay, I know that a lot of you don't have acrylic paint at home like I do here. I'm lucky I grabbed some from work before I left. But you can use nail polish. You can use markers. So it doesn't have to be acrylic paint. So the colors I'm using, I picked this up, it was on sale, it was I think 50% off when I went to the DIY store. And these are the paints that I picked up from school. So the three colors I'm using, and you can do your art, any colors you want, is I'm gonna use this beautiful teal for my flip flop, and then the purple for my strap, and then you can see that I did some shading on that. I use the dark blue and I diluted it with a lot of water to do a little shading to give it a little bit of a dimension. All right, so what are we gonna do? Um, oh, let me go through supplies. Also some, a pencil of some kind. I'm using two different size paint brushes, but really you just need one, it's fine. Um, all right, and some water, some paper towels, and of course, some rocks, and then I've got my little paper plate that I mix my paint on. Are you ready? Should be fun. All right, let's get painting. All right, and you can notice I put it on a little plastic bag because this morning when I did my practice one, I put it on paper and then when I took it off, it stuck to the paper and had pulled a little bit of it off on the bottom. You can see I still got a little paper on the bottom. So I didn't want to do that same thing again. So this time I put it on just a little baggie and now I'm going to let it dry and I'm going to actually put it out on the sun because it's a beautiful warm day today on this Thursday towards the end of the May, uh, end of May. And I'm gonna put it outside and let it dry. And then we'll be back and we'll do a second coat. All right, we'll see you in a minute. We have put it outside to dry for a little bit and we've got our first coat. And now we're going to put in our second coat. So here we go. Okay, we now have two coats on our flip-flop and it's time to take it outside and dry it again. And then we'll come in and we will do our strap and a little shading. As you can see, I put a little shading in this to give it a little dimension. So we're gonna do both of those. All right, we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, we just come from outside and we've got it nice and dry. It's painted, it's looking pretty. I like this paint because it's got a little bit of a shine to it. All right, so now, as you can see, we have to do our strap. So I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna draw in my strap. And I want it kind of the same way I did here. drawn on my chevron 
And now I'm gonna take my purple paint as well. So we'll do the same as last time. We'll paint, then we'll dry, then we'll come back, we'll do another level and we'll dry again. Alright, so that's coat one. I'm gonna let it dry and we'll come back in 20 minutes or so and we'll do our next coat. It's so cute. Giving it about 20 minutes to dry. So let's do another coat. Now, if you notice on this one, we did some really nice shading. So we're gonna do the same thing for this. So we're gonna clean off our brush. Make sure all that purple is gone. And the easiest way to do shading for this is actually to get it wet where I want the shading to be. So I'm gonna get it a little bit wet in here. And I want to do shading too around the bottom, so I'm going to get that a little bit wet. It just goes in, and then I'm going to take my a little bit of the blue paint, and I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. So just a tiny, weeny little bit of blue. Just a tiny, weeny bit, just a smidge. And then lots of water. Mix that all up. That's going to be my shading. So I've got very little bit of blue, lots of water. And then remember, I just put a little bit of water in there. So I just want a little bit of shading around where the flip flop is. And see how, because I made it wet, it really does a nice job of shading. It's not going to grab onto the color too much. And then I'm going to put a little bit of shade throughout. And I can always dilute a little bit more with the water. And I just want to pull it in so it gives it a little bit of dimension.
So now I have my flip-flop and I've got a pair and these look great like in the bottom of a plant. It could be a paperweight and it's so cute. And just so, next time you're outside walking around, see if you can find some cute wads. I found these right in the desert. So easy to find. Remember for paints, you don't have to have fancy paints. I was just lucky when I was doing my Harry Potter cars last Christmas, I had this left over. But nail polish is perfect for this. And it's nail polish is nice because it's nice and shiny. Um, I have another rock here. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but I'm gonna do something and I'll put a picture of that when I'm done on our page. But look how fun, I just had so much fun making those and they're so cute. And I'm excited. Wow, we only have two more weeks of school. So hopefully we'll do two more videos, at least one a week. And um, I will see you next time, guys. It was so good to see you. Don't forget, if you want a craft bag, just let me know every Friday my daughter Megan delivers. You have to live in Cathedral City, though. All right. See you next time.